Welcome back, I'm Taekyeon, and we start off today with our COVID-19 updates. As of midnight November 22nd, South Korea recorded 515 critical cases of COVID-19, exceeding 500 cases for three straight days. A shortage of hospital bed is growing worse as the number of new cases hover around 3,000 for the sixth day. The government decided to reactivate the Joint Special Inspection Team from today to once again remind the public to keep following disease control measures. A hospital overseeing COVID-19 patients being treated at home. Nurses check on the patient's condition. <laughs> Across the nation, 5,456 patients are being treated at home. If their condition worsens suddenly, they are assigned a hospital bed within 30 minutes or no more than three hours and are transported there. So far, in Seoul alone, more than 46 patients were hospitalized while being treated at home. 확진자 늘어나고 입원 병상이 부족했을 때 경우가 발생할까 봐그 부분 염려가 되고 있는데. The number of critically ill patients remain in the 500 level for three straight days. 86.4 percent of such cases are taken up by people 60 or older. The hospital bed shortage situation is growing worse as there are growing cases of elderly patients that need to be hospitalized. The ICU bed occupancy rate was around 85 percent in Seoul and exceeded 80 percent in Gyeonggi-do province. A record 804 people have been waiting to be hospitalized for more than a day. Among them, 108 have not been assigned a hospital bed for more than four days. In the recent five weeks, six patients died while waiting to be admitted to a hospital. As people grow less vigilant when it comes to adhering to disease control measures, the government reactivated the Joint Special Inspection Team for a month. Meanwhile, more than 2.56 million doses of vaccines purchased directly from Pfizer are arriving in Korea on Monday.